So we left Ardrossan this morning. Uh, we're packing up, getting rid of the grey water, and one of the ladies that lives across the road mm -hmm. came over and gave us some lemons to take with us. Had a bit of a chat. Lovely nice old lady. Yeah. Uh, we went to, the, went to the pub there last night. Great food. Had a nice dinner. <laughs> Chief, what did you have? <laughs> I had chicken breast with prawns and mango sauce on top. Came out with no prawns and we couldn't find the mango. The anyway, the waitress, the waitress went and got me some specially. <laughs> so that was all right. So we had a nice meal, nice night. Had Pretty quiet, except for somebody snoring <laughs> in the caravan. But we won't say who that was. Well, I had a really good sleep. I took some urine. That's probably why I snored. I knocked uh, myself out. I needed to. So we went to Port Julia, there's a $10 camp there but it was a bit dry and dusty and didn't look all that inviting. Didn't have any phone reception. Yeah, no phone reception, can't do without that. Well, so we thought we'd go years. to Marion Bay. So anyway, we just pulled into this little spot. Min Leighton. Min Leighton. Going to have a the, look at um, the um, Harry Butler. Harry Butler Memorial. Captain we're going to see Harry what, Butler. Going to see what that's all about. And then we'll continue on. And it's hot already. Yeah. Sorry you guys that are suffering from the floods, yes, but it's it sucks. really, really sunny and hot in here. It should go where they need it. So we've made it to Marion Bay. We've cheated again. We're staying in a caravan park for a couple of nights. Just, we've got to catch up on the washing again. Thought we'd just wander down to the water. What do you think, Vic? Beautiful. So warm. The water, oh, I don't know, it must be 28 degrees in the water. Looks like another nice cave over there. I'll have to go snorkeling tomorrow. So we're only six kilometres from Stenhouse Bay, so we'll go and explore that later. That was on my bucket list. This is this is nice. Caravan Park seems nice. Lots of friendly people in there. Uh, Thirty-five dollars a night. But anyway, sometimes you got to pay it. a bit of seaweed floating in the ocean but we're going to call it a dragon fish yeah a sea dragon a sea dragon the type of um, seahorse sea Closer, it looks more like a bit of seaweed, but <laughs> we'll still call it a sea dragon. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether it's the beach or the op shops. She just loves scavenging. What do you got so far, Vic? Some got a bit of gypsum. And a pet rock from South Australia. He's doing well. And now we're going to get all these rocks home in the caravan. Bush campground. 
$10, ten dollars a night to camp plus your vehicle entry fee. Which is eleven dollars. You can buy it for a week or something. Okay, well we might keep walking. So we might go and find the jetty. I've never called myself a greenie and I know for Australia to grow they have to do mining and stuff but it's the same at Rapid Bay I think when they're finished mining they should be made to return the land to what it was before maybe they're a little know. bit of yeah. a little bit but not like the stone walls are nice but I don't know, this is just a scar. It's such a beautiful area, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting old. Old and cranky. Yeah. Southwest, you can see the islands Seal Island, Haystack Island, and Althorpe with the lighthouse. Further to your right, you can see Cape Spencer Lighthouse, which is the southernmost point of the peninsula, right on the very toe. Wow, that sounds really scripted, bit. <laughs> reading it off the sign. Mm. So this is Cable Bay campground. It's absolutely deserted. There's a group down here from the TAFE doing something. But they're not camping. There's a bush dunny there. say midweek it's probably deserted but who knows what it's like on the weekends. Fully packed. Not a bad little beach. And there's little birdie footprints in the sand. So maybe maybe there's even penguins here, who knows? Looks like the side sort of sand dunes they like. up but there's a massive pot of dolphins like 30 meters out from the beach
Holy crap! <laughs> Have a go at these cliffs! There's warning signs not to come out here because you might fall over the edge. But, holy crap! We're at, where are we at? Spencer Lighthouse. Spencer Lighthouse. So we're right on the toe of the York Peninsula. Just going up to have a look at the lighthouse. Man, this area is just spectacular. I reckon it leaves the Great Ocean Road for dead. Like it's untouched. Oh look, there's a wave down there. Wind can't help it. Look at that, there we go. Tip. I said tip. God, I feel nervous getting close to the edge. This could be my last recording. A few people might say good. No, sorry to disappoint. kilometers inland from the lighthouse and there's Inniston Lake probably can't see it in the video but across the other side there's remnants of the old town we're going to have a look at that one next Maybe that's how they got to work. Across the lake. Go and see if there's a sign down there. I can hear natives. So this is the remnants of old Inniston. The National Parks has done up five buildings. I think they said that you can the chicken holiday let. A lot of history in here. It was an old uh, gypsum processing plant, a plaster factory was in here up until the 1930s. have done their cooking outside. Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Defeated.
left Marion Bay this morning. Just had a bit of a layover at a place called Maitland. Looks like a nice little place. Got a bakery. And lucky for me, it's got two up shops, so I guess we'll be stopping for a while. The um, road into Maitland from, from uh, Marion Bay was one of the roughest I've ever been on. It was all sealed, but it's uh, just like this footpath. Ups and downs and floating. One stage the uh, stability control on the van even cut in. So we were down to 60 k's an hour. Yeah, what we got here? Better go to the op shop. So we've pulled up for the night in the Munta RV rest area. It's a by donation area. Pictures on Wiki Camp, so it's really nice and, <laughs> and green. <laughs> mm, I guess that was two years ago. Bit of a dust bowl now, but anyway, doesn't matter. It's only for a night. Yeah, only for a night. Yeah, so we've officially left the York Peninsula. What do you think of the York Peninsula, Vic? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Lovely. Great walks, yeah. dolphins, kangaroos, beautiful people. We yeah. met our good friends, Carolyn and Chris. Good friends after one day. We're going to check out the Muta Bay area and Port Hughes. Where are we, Vic? Moon to Bay. Moon to Bay. It's just beautiful, but it's very windy. Nice jetty. That's a free water park over there at the end where those yellow, and orange and blue flags are. We haven't found anything like that in Coffs Harbour. The caravan. <laughs> the caravan park on the foreshores. Then you got these ocean baths out here, halfway along the jetty. Beautiful. And the jetty. Looks like a nice little town, we're going to have a look at that later. But it's just blowing a gale at the minute, so any chance of having a nice pleasant swim of going to poop. Yeah, a nice, nice spot. It's not as dry as where we are, we're only about two, the town's about two k's inland from the bay. A lot drier in there than it is down here, but this would this would be nice. Yeah, when the weather's good, there's nothing you can do about the weather. But yeah, nice spot, and that's going all the way up to Port Hughes on the foreshores. We might take up a run up there and have a look too. This is Port Hughes on a blustery day. Looks nice. Got a massive car park near the boat ramp, so it must be must get really busy. We're not going out on that one. Vic's taken off. It's too windy for her. It's too windy and cold. Caravan park up there, and look at that. There's a traveler in there. 